Did we make our most recent video about Robin Lehner yesterday? Was that seriously the thing about how Peter DeBoer was kind of going out there talking smack about Lehner to the media, despite starting him in all the important games? Because in his words, hey, we pay him to play these games, but he wasn't good enough, so we pulled him? Actually, yeah, no, it was yesterday. Oh man, that is my, my, my bad. So, we have ourselves the finality to the entire Robin Lehner situation here in Vegas, and it's not one that you would like to see. However, it is one that we were already kind of thinking about as far back as March 17th, when Frank Saravelli went out there and talked about this kind of idea on his show. What is it called? Icebreakers? Yeah, Icebreakers on Daily Faceoff, and he also wrote about it, I believe, in an article. So, what we're going to do is go over to what Sarah Bailey said back then, because back then it was a pretty big deal what it was that was being shared. On Icebreakers, Frank Saravelli talked about how the Vegas Golden Knights fear that Robin Lehner could miss the remainder of the regular season with a patella fracture, which is on the kneecap. He also talked about this on the show. The entire video is available on Twitter. Frank Saravelli gave an update on Robin Lehner's health today on the Daily Faceoff show, and it does not look good for the Golden Knights netminder. Again, this was back on March 17th, 2022. Now, if we go back even further into time, let's go back to March 1st, when Robin Lehner was recovering from the injuries that he was sustaining at the time. This is what he said about his recovery process. That's a better question for Frank Saravelli, my doctor. Lehner also said this when talking about whether or not he believes he'll be healthy enough for the rest of the season. I'm not going to talk about injuries. Obviously, what Dr. Saravelli said wasn't true. Obviously, I haven't had surgery. So I'm good. This is, again, two weeks before Saravelli gave the update that Robin Lehner was kind of in a position of concern for the Vegas Golden Knights because they thought, okay, this patella fracture might be so bad that he might miss the remainder of the regular season. And lo and behold, it's a month after Saravelli gave us that update, and via Jesse Granger on Twitter, it appears that Robin Lehner is indeed undergoing season-ending surgery. And so this opens up an entire new can of worms. Firstly, the idea that Robin Lehner was going out there talking smack about Sarah Vailey, doubting Sarah Vailey's sources, only for Sarah Vailey to have been proven sort of right. I mean, he did say a month ago, yeah, the Vegas Golden Knights are concerned that Lehner might need to miss the rest of the regular season, that he's going to have a surgery or whatever that's going to cost him some more time. And sure, it didn't happen right away. It took a month for everything to manifest in the way that Saravelli said it would. But Saravelli was kind of right here. And so now Robin Lehner, all the comments that he made about Saravelli being his doctor and all what he said isn't true, kind of poking fun at it. I'm sorry, Robin Lehner. I don't want to be that guy, but it appears that you just took an L. So, yeah, unfortunate to see for sure. But it also opens up the conversation as to what the heck the Golden Knights and Peter DeBoer were doing. I know DeBoer said his praises and grievances the previous few days into the media saying, yeah, Robin Lehner gets paid to play these big games. He gets paid the amount of money that he does because he's supposed to be clutch enough to steal us games and steal us wins. It's just unfortunate that against Washington, DeBoer felt that Lehner was not capable of doing that. Well, it does get a little bit more muddy now when you understand that Robin Lehner has been playing hurt. He didn't have any significant moment in the previous game, or excuse me, the previous period he played in Washington. He didn't have a moment in the New Jersey game where people were looking at him saying, oh my goodness, he got injured right there. You see that, Mark? 15-something of the second period, that's when he got injured. You could tell right there. He didn't have any of those moments. He was just playing in such a way that a lot of people were already speculating, yeah, he might be hurt. Like, he might not be fully recovered from the injuries that he had beforehand. And then we had the rumors from Sarah Valley as well a month ago saying, yeah, he's got something in the Vegas Golden Knights fear they might miss him for the rest of the regular season. So there was already some sort of doubt in people's minds, especially when I read the comments of my own videos. I was like, yeah, people are definitely thinking about the Vegas situation with Flurry, or excuse me, not Flurry, Laner. Yeah, Flurry's in the back of my mind too because they got rid of that guy. People are thinking about Laner as if he's not fully 100% healthy because we don't have any reason to believe that he is. He's not playing well. He's giving up goals that are definitely stinkers, and he's getting pulled by Peter DeBoer in 1-1 ties. Like, 
This situation is so weird, like why do you allow the guy to play? If there were already enough rumors going around the rumor mill that it got to Frank Saravelli of all people, and granted, Frank Saravelli is in the know, I don't doubt that. He's the guy who leaked the entire Seattle Kraken expansion draft before it even happened, you gotta remember. But if there is so much concern about the health of a player and the injury status, oh, he might be out for an extended amount of time because of his patella, if those rumors leak out into the media to the point where Frank Saravelli is reporting it on his show, you gotta question firstly how good you guys are at keeping secrets, and secondly, now that he is indeed getting that surgery, you have to ask, why did you allow him to stick around for so long? You're worried that he's got this thing that's gonna end off the rest of his regular season? Well, why'd you play him? And if he played poorly, why did you keep playing him afterwards? This Peter DeBoer thing from yesterday gets even more weird when you acknowledge that the injury was a thing. And it gets even crazier when you see Peter DeBoer's comments that he made today on if the report that Robin Lehner is having season-ending surgery is accurate. He said, not to my knowledge, it was a maintenance day today. I expect him at practice tomorrow, and I expect him dressed on Sunday. So, either we all just got debated by ESPN when they said that Robin Lehner is getting season-ending surgery, or Peter DeBoer, just like Marc-Andre Fleury a few months ago, found out that he lost his goalie on Twitter. So, we'll see if everything does go down the way it is. I'm just going to start talking as if Robin Lehner is going to get the surgery and the ESPN guys are right. So, if it doesn't go down that way, then I apologize. We'll make a rescinding video or we'll talk about in the comments that I was wrong, but... Either way, assume Lehner is playing Hurt, assume Peter DeBoer doesn't really care and he's still gonna go out there and play him, there is a whole bunch of blame to go around, right? Although I will say that Robin Lehner is a guy that probably did go along with it too, like, obviously if he is feeling that he's got his kneecap thing and the team is saying, okay, well, how do you feel about it? And Robin Lehner's like, yeah, okay, I can play. You gotta respect Lehner for going out there and fighting the fight. Even Frank Saravelli said, full marks to Lehner for battling through two really painful and difficult injuries. Nothing but admiration and respect for him. That's not the problem here. The problem is the Vegas Golden Knights saw that he was already declining. They knew he was going through something at the very least, so much to the point that it leaked out into the media and they still kept playing him. Peter DeBoer still kept putting him in, and Peter DeBoer still went out there and had the gall to trash talk the guy when talking about these hockey games in the press conferences. Like, you gotta think if the guy knows, okay, he's battling through injuries, he's not at 100%, it's so bad that we might not see him for the rest of the season. The point from yesterday is even bigger now. Why the heck are you going out there blasting your goaltender? Why? You play him more than you probably should based off of his injury status and based off of how you talked about him in the media, and he's been hurt the whole time. This makes Peter DeBoer look even worse than yesterday, in my opinion, and when it comes to the way the season has gone down, I mean, for later, you gotta be feeling for the guy because he has indeed battled through these injuries, and we just hope that the surgery works and that next season he's back fully healthy and fully capable once again. But when it comes to the playoffs and the entire race, because the Golden Knights being in the position they are, they did beat Washington in overtime, so good for them getting those extra two points. It is kind of interesting to see where things go now, because if you assume the Golden Knights make the playoffs, let's say LA craps the bed and Vegas squeaks into that third place spot in the Pacific. What's the plan now? Is it Logan Thompson? I mean, Logan Thompson has been pretty good in the time that he's been here, but like... Still, he's mostly just an AHL caliber guy that has been excelling in the NHL opportunity he's been given, so the question is whether or not he is the proper option, and if he's not, who the heck else do you go with? Logan Thompson is the option by default if you assume Lehner's not going to be here anymore, because the other guy, I mean, you have other goaltenders in the system like Dylan Ferguson, Yuri Patera, there are all these guys up here on emergency call-up situations, so... There are a whole bunch of players that are at your disposal, it's just none of them have seen any significant NHL playing time to the point that I feel confident that you could label them, okay, yeah, he's our starter, he's our playoff starter. Vegas is going all in with Jack Eichel and Petrangelo and Stone and Pacioretty and everybody, and their goaltender is Logan Thompson. Like, oh boy, that flurry trade, hi yi yi I mean... Flurry cap hit, I get it, that's why you traded the guy in the first place, plus he's old, but 
yeah, you traded him for nothing, and now the goaltending situation is even worse when Robin Lehner gets hurt as much as he does. So let me know in the comments all your thoughts about the Vegas Golden Knights and everything that we have discussed here in this video. The injury, the season-ending injury, or excuse me, surgery, I should say, Peter DeBoer in his comments and how that changes because of the status of Lehner and his kneecap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Trolls 99. And bye.